Yo, what is up people? I hope you are feeling fine. I'm currently sick and I'm sick because I was shooting this round in the river. Merci, Robin. So, as you guessed it, this is not a reaction because I obviously saw both of Robin's round as I was filming them. And since the competitors get to see their opponent's rounds, I saw KBA's first round with Robin. So, the only round I have not seen is KBA's second round. So, I'll just watch the rounds and give you my thoughts on who is going to win this first semi final. As you may have seen for the four quarter finals, I got all the predictions correct. So, stay until the end of the video if you want to see who I think should move on to the final. So we're gonna move on with Robin's first round and as you know I don't like to fake reactions or overdo anything. I've seen this round already, I was filming it, so I'm just going to enjoy it one more time and remember put headphones. In three, two, one, beatbox. So basically when we're working with squid, this is the place where we're staying at. And here you have Gothenburg and FIB. There is no place for you and me. Come on KBA, this is the KBB. I've no time to waste for you baby, let's go. Always look left and right when you're crossing the road, guys. KBA, we run the KBB. There is a gap between you and me. Listen, KBA, get out from KBB. Go back to school and just leave me.
know where to start so i'm just gonna say things here and there not really in the right order if i had to choose one of those two tracks that i had to listen to again i would probably go with kba it's more the style of music that appeals to me and kba thank you for not silent recording your drums like for me the essence of looping is first of all to do one sound at a time and second of all to see the progression to see how these sounds being added one by one sum up to making a track. I find this is much more effective this way. You see him do the hi-hats, the shakers, the, the snares, the kicks, and it works better this way. So musically, I like KBA's round. In terms of showmanship, Robin, I mean, it's quite clear <laughs> that it's Robin. Well, maybe it's just clear for me, but I would give it to Robin anyway. Then the originality, both of them were brilliant. I really loved that shout out to Thorsen uh, that Robin did as Thorsen is from Denmark, just like KBA, and he used that Danish technique against KBA. And KBA, if you got it, he did that Batman theme. And KBA said, you'll always be second to me, saying he's Batman and Robin is Robin, obviously. Um, the joke about Robin's mix, it was maybe a bit too much because it's kind of the same thing 
he did, but it was with Mirsa's tears, but you know, it's the same joke with the water drinking. And also calling out Robin's mix, when your own mix isn't perfect, when he started talking, it was way too loud and kind of muddy also. So when you call out somebody's mix, but your mix is not perfect, it doesn't really work. For me, this is really close. I have no clue who to give it to. If I had to judge within criteria, maybe Robin will be slightly ahead because there's much more things happening in his round. But then remember judges can give bonus points and I do have a musical preference for KBA's round. So I'd keep it at 50-50 for the moment. We're gonna watch the second round. I know Robin's round. I have not seen KBA's second round. So wait until the end of the video and I'll give you my honest opinion about who I think should move on. Ah, this is very dark, isn't it? Wait. Better. And let's go. Welcome to round three of the first semi-final of the SBX Kickback Battle 2021 Loop Station Edition with the exclusive prototype of the Boss RC505 Mark II. Today we have Robin versus KBA. Up next is Robin with three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. I say the three and I say the two and the one. In three, two, one, beatbox. Great run, KBA. Love you, bro.
Okay, Robin. For you. I got a Two cameras. Well, this L N the B S N one. Oh, well, this is that's Robin's 2017 wildcard technique. Because this is your elimination from the KB 2021. Because this is your elimination from the KB 2021. Because this is your elimination from the KB 2021. Because this is your elimination from the KB 2021. Okay. The good thing for judges is that they don't have to decide on the spot. They can watch the videos, go back and forth as much as they want. That's probably what I would need to do right now. This is a tricky situation for me. When I said Frosty versus Robin, when I said Robin should win this battle, I got some comments of people saying, oh, but you're totally biased because Robin is your friend and you filmed the video and blah, blah, blah. blah. Facts, Robin won. Here, if I say, KBA should win, people are going to say, oh, but look at Robin's round, they are amazing, they're incredible. If I say Robin should win, people are going to say, oh, but you're biased again because you film Robin's round and he's your fan. Truth is, I don't care about these comments, I'll just say what I think and I'll just be honest like I usually am, so. My first thought right now is, great round Robin, very good round KBA. Showmanship Robin, originality, KBA. KBA actually put a response onto Robin's second round with the lyrics and he played it very, very smart using Robin's 2017 GBB wildcard technique at the beginning of his round, which is also kind of an answer to Robin's first round where Robin did a technique from Denmark, from Thorsen. So KBA played it very, very smart here. Technically and in terms of originality, this goes for KBA. In terms of showmanship, this goes with Robin. And in terms of music, I have to give this one to Robin also. But maybe just like the first round, it's a personal feeling. Just like I thought musically, I preferred KBA's first round. Here musically, I prefer Robin's second round. I do truly believe that this is a closer battle than Robin versus Frosty. I feel that in this competition, Robin and Christoph are the ones 
to beat. Now, whatever people will say, I don't care. I'm here to judge what I hear. And I judge not only on a technical, original and musical aspect, but also in feelings, emotions. And once more, that second round by Robin is a masterpiece. I can totally understand that KBA can win this battle. But if I had to be a judge, I would give it to Robin. Will I get my predictions right again? I don't know. I hope so. Um, not because I just want to get them right because Robin is my friend and I want him to win the whole competition. And a bit because I would like to film some other rounds also. We will see. Results are on Saturday, October the 2nd. Uh, until then, I'll just bring out some content for you and um, especially the next battle between Joshua and Christophe. Uh, very curious to see how this goes. Anyway, hope you guys stay safe. I'm going back to bed. I'm sick as. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Peace, guys.